I'm Sean Pope, an ecologist for the Canal and River Trust. I've been with the Trust since February, although I've had a lifelong interest in ecology and I've been volunteering in ecology for the last eight years. Lots of reed growth uh, on the canal at Knoll Locks. This species here is reed mace and without the reed mace this would be just uh, an empty concrete bowl. The reed mace here offers a fantastic habitat for a variety of uh, species. What you've got in there, you've got insects such as dragonflies and damselflies that will use it as shelter. Uh, in the larval stage, but also when they emerge to become adults they'll climb up and then fly away. But also below the water you've got other invertebrates and you've got fish as well. In the main channel things such as perch, pike, roach and eels. But if you come out of the water onto the towpath uh, now more and more so you get getting otters that are moving through. But also near the towpath on the other side you tend to get badgers as well in certain areas which uh, build the sets along the uh, embankments and the cuttings. Lots of birds as well. You'll notice if you look inside the lock, the walls are covered in mosses, lichens and liverworts. This is very interesting because it's almost like a human made waterfall. Whereas these species would normally exist on rocks by natural waterfalls. This uh, man-made phenomenon here allows them to actually grow elsewhere where they would normally be very restricted in where they grew. In this particular canal, there are invasive species, two examples of them, one being the American signal crayfish and the other being a fish called the zander. Now both of them are predators. The signal crayfish, they eat fish eggs but they also predate our native crayfish. So they're a potential problem, especially if they increase in numbers. The zander have been here for a good few years. They've not caused such a problem, although they are known to prey on native fish. So possibly in the long run, they may affect uh, levels of different species here. Thank you.